Let's see a run back on the opening kickoff. This will be a touchback. Stroud looks to throw on the first play. He'll get this into the hands of Nico Collins. Now inside the 25, Nico Collins. Touchdown, Houston. Nico Collins, 75 yards. And the Texans are on the board first here this afternoon. Wow, first play of the game, CD, 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate lots. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive type plays. That was absolutely a thunderbolt. And on the defensive side, he spent all week scheming, all week preparing, and it seems like it goes right out the window. So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And they will regular them down a couple yards shy of the 30. Jones and the Giants now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. They'll send a receiver in motion left. They begin with a run by Barkley. And they work this well up field across the 45. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big game. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and ten. It's another first down. I'm going to be a gain of 21 yards. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there. Worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. A lane opens up that time as he'll be brought down just short of the first after a gain of about nine. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Running again with Barkley on second down. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the open drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. Second and ten. To throw again, Jones. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Jalen Petrie picks it off, and the Texans are going to take over at their own two-yard line. Partner, there's no other way you can describe it because that was absolutely just gut-wrenching for that offense. They were right on the precipice. Come on, come on. Hey. Points were available. All they had to do was just fall forward, and they were going to put them up on the board. Instead, a long drive ends in heartbreak and a melancholy trip back to the drawing board. I like it when I go a little bit lyrical for you. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Houston. Take down 98 yards. And the Texans are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. 
Well, Charles, kind of the future of this franchise on display right there. You had a rookie throwing a rookie catching it and taking it. I'm whooping your ass like this, bro. Could you imagine if we were in the owner's box? I ain't never played with Houston ever. This is my first time, my first time gaming with him. Ever on mad. This mad. You trash, bro. I'm kicking your ass, bro. Tell your fucking mic on, you got a PlayStation. You hear this ass with it. You hear it, you see it, and you feel it, nigga. Your controller vibrating, nigga. You hear me speaking to your bitch ass, nigga. Fuck you, you gonna do? You think you finna run this shit back? You think you finna run it back? Catch from 39? Fat ass, nigga. We just gave you that because they got sad feet. I'll feel we'll kill ass though. And that certainly qualifies a big play to get him in the end zone. It qualifies indeed because let's face it, they don't get something done on this drive, turn it back over. This game could be 88 and out the gate early. What? 88 and out the gate? Yeah. What's that? Well, listen, I used to hear my old man talk about it. It usually meant that thing's done. Well, now that they got the touchdown, it's, it's not 88 and out the gate. We still got a good game going ahead of us. The quarterback will keep it himself, and he will not make it to the goal line. He'll come up short, and they'll be unable to get this back within one score as it stays a nine-point game. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Houston's offense already at the line set to get going. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Taking a shot for Dell here. That's caught inside the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So now. a critical mistake roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. Throwing now is Stroud. Flushed out right. The ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Nothing open downfield. He had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. He came an all-arm throw trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. Stroud now on second down. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked off by Xavier McKinney. And the Giants are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Well, Brandon, as they say in popular culture, this one's going to leave a mark because they can see the end zone, but it'll stay out of reach because of their error. All their offensive teammates have to get with the quarterback right now, offer a little bit of encouragement because what's done is done. Let's get them next time out. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. A big mistake last time they were on the field, tossing that interception inside the red zone and really taking away what had been a pretty successful drive up to that point. Yeah, I don't think there's any question about it as they head out on the field for this drive. That whole offensive unit was just thinking redemption. You know, they moved it really well, didn't pay it off. This time, they want to make sure that ball ends up in the end zone, and they're the ones possessing it. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. That's an early scramble that can be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish him as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. 
They'll try to run for it with Barkley. Yeah, he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the uh, field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. And how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy oh call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. And he is going to have the Giants first down. Good work there on fourth and one. They get seven to move the chains. Off play action. Jones rolling to his right. And that one into the hands of Shepard downfield. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. In motion, Slayton. A first down carry for Barkley. And he is going to lose yardage here. That tackle behind the line made by Will Anderson. That's a nice job there, foiling what all offenses try to do, which is control the defensive end in the running game. They want to get to the outside, and if he keeps himself free, stays on his feet, he can make a play just as he did there. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down hey, play go. in order to pick up the yardage needed. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Now Jones. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked up by Christian Harris. And the Texans are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. Well, still early in this one, Charles, but the last time this offense was out there, they threw their first interception in the ball game. so trying to avoid repeating that mistake here on this drive. And to put a positive spin on it, at least it happened in the first half and not in a close game in the fourth quarter, but you're absolutely right, partner. One of the last things this offensive quarterback wants to witness again in this game. Kind of an obvious question, Charles, but anything you try to avoid after your first pick or you say, it's one interception, we're still in the first half, I'm about to do the same thing. I think you want to avoid playing scared, you know, and put it into the mind of the quarterback that you've lost confidence in him. Make sure you get some throws that he's going to be able to complete, make him feel good about himself, and continue to run your offense. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Play action. Stroud now. His throw incomplete. Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Here's second and ten. Now Stroud. Got a man. It's Collins complete. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. So many times in my career, I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Buying time to his left. And he goes out of bounds without getting rid of it. A big, big loss there. And it goes down as a sack as well.
On second and a long way to go. Stroud. Short throw into the hands of Jordan. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. They'll give him four yards there. And it's going to be third down and forever. Boy, a tough spot here as they approach the line of scrimmage. A long way to go to try to pick up this first down. Now on third and forever, he'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. And I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. He tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Stroud and company going for it. Trying to stretch the field with Schultz. And it's knocked away and incomplete. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And the Giants are going to take over in great field position. A first and ten here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. Clock rolling as the Giants will hurry to the line. Throwing Jones. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. The turnover put him in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You've got to cash in and get some points. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get to third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And that'll move him back within six now. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell us, end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Come on, come on. Hey. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do. And that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also have those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're going to win those, too. They'll go play action here with Stroud. He's going deep for Brown. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. And the Giants are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They go play action here on first down. Hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Bama, Bama, Bama. Looking to throw, Jones. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. 
Jones, a final shot before break. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover. But doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football. And now zapped right back in the other direction. In motion, Slayton. A final shot before break. Jones. He's got his target. That's complete. Now he's free at the 35. He may go. Sterling Shepard. And he's in for the touchdown. On the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. Gano the extra point, and that will put them on top here in the third. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second half ready to get rolling. The Giants with a lead, and they are set to receive this kick. Paris Campbell now on the return. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. timeout by the offense it's just their first so two remaining as they burn one here in back this number, third quarter throwing to start the drive Jones and he's going to be intercepted a third time Picked off by the former first rounder, Jimmy Ward. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. We're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Stroud looking to throw. And an off-balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. That's tremendous field position that they were given following the turnover, but they've still got work to do to get the field goal range, and the coverage we're seeing isn't going to make it easy. Stroud off the play fake. A short one going to be taken in here by Schultz. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Stroud on third down now. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked up by the USC man, Adore Jackson. And they will finally stop him as he's down to the 40-yard line. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ballgame. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And 
Hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback that's along that's the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think, okay, he's a guy in all the commercials now. Right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. He'll get 15 and a Giants first down. Back to throw. Jones. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. A third quarter now to one-point game as they line up second and ten. Throwing again. Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. He needed three. He got two. Now that will set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. Going quickly out to the right side. And unable to break away. They stop him a few yards shy. The Giants go on fourth but come up empty. And this Texans defense stands tall. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together. And say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. So the 14 yards actually takes him from 143 to the other for first and 10. They go right back to Singletary. And very little there. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard to the 41. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Now a timeout called for by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Play action. Here's Stroud. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown, Houston. Brevin Jordan, 41 yards. And the Texans have retaken a third quarter lead. Charles, that's a pretty good response from a rookie quarterback. He's had his struggles in this game, including the interception on the last drive, but there he takes him down the field and puts it in the end zone. I agree with everything you just said right there, and there's a silver lining to all of this, his resiliency, because let's face it, when things are going bad and you're a youngster, they often continue to go bad. But in his mind and his actions, he said, this stops right here. And how about the positive play he just turned in? So after the touchdown, here's Fairbear now to kick it away. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Here's Jones, throwing to start the drive. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Jalen Petrie picks it off. And a huge return as he'll take this one all the way down. 